To be successful on the T's exam, you definitely need to be strong in basic math. All right, so let's see if we can do this problem without the aid of a calculator. So we have the fraction 3 over 10 divided by 0.2. Now there's two things we can do here. We can either convert this fraction into a decimal because we have a decimal over here, or we can change this decimal into a fraction. And I think it's going to be a lot easier for us to convert 0.2 into a fraction. All right, so how do we convert a decimal into a fraction? Well, basically, it's how we say this decimal. So you can say this decimal as 0.2, or you can say it as the decimal 2 tenths, because the 2 right here is in the tenths place. So if you say this using its place value, you can actually listen and construct the fraction because this is the decimal 2 tenths or the fraction 2 tenths. All right, so the decimal 0.2 is equivalent to the fraction 2 tenths. All right, so now our problem is 3 tenths divided by not 0.2, but the fraction 2 tenths. Okay, so now we have to figure out how to divide fractions. And this is very easy because we don't really divide uh, fractions per se. What we do is change the problem to multiplication. So 3 tenths divided by 2 tenths is equivalent to the fraction 3 tenths times fraction 10 over 2. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to flip this fraction to the right of the division operator. And what we have now is a multiplication problem. So 3 tenths divided by 2 tenths is equivalent to the problem 3 tenths times 10 over 2. Again, we're going to flip this fraction to the right of the division operator. Okay, so our last step now is to multiply fractions. And this is very easy because all we have to do is multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So what we're going to have here is 3 times 10 over 10 times 2. But you can see here that our 10s will cross cancel leaving us with the final answer of 3 over 2.